everyone welcome to my channel I'm Ralu and in today's video I am going to do a perfume tag I love perfumes and when I saw this tag online I knew I had to do it so I have my phone here with all of the questions and I'm going to read one by one and answer to you and also show you the perfumes because I pretty much have most of them question number one what was your first perfume you ever purchased? I don't have this one because it's been a really long time ago and even if I wanted to I don't think I'd be able to get it because it's been discontinued but it was um, a perfume called uh, Eclipse or The Eclipse something like that and it was launched in 1996 by a company in Europe called Oriflame I don't know if you guys know about it but I used to be obsessed with the perfumes from this company and when I was in high school that was the perfume that I chose they had several different ones sun the moon things like that and I always loved the Eclipse one now clearly this was perfume that was not very expensive I think it was under ten dollars but the very first perfume that I ever got that was very expensive was this one this one uh, it's called plain and simple Vera Wang I wore this perfume on my wedding day it was a gift the initial perfume was a gift set that my husband gave to me it's absolutely beautiful and has such a wedding vibe I know a lot of people who get married choose this perfume for their wedding day back then and I don't know maybe now too Vera Wang is really does really good stuff Question number two. What's your signature perfume? This is a hard one because as a perfume collector I have many of them. So I would say as a signature perfume that I wear a lot and I don't wear a lot now because it's been discontinued but anything with umber base and just I really like the oriental vibe and this one this one I really really like so this is the private collection by Estee Lauder and it's the Amber Elong Elong I think absolutely gorgeous perfume it is I believe $400 if you want to get it now because it's discontinued it is the most sophisticated warm sexy perfume with amber base actually it smells really really a lot like uh, um a very well balanced amber slash vanilla and it has patchouli in it so it's it's not a perfume for the faint of heart uh, that's how it is the color when you first buy it I really wish they never discontinued it but hey now they have others but this one is absolutely delicious uh, question number three what's your most recent perfume purchase there are two of them I purchased as the early birthday gift Eau du Croisier by Mugler. A friend of mine told me about it, said it is great, so I got it. Isn't that gorgeous? And the perfume itself doesn't really smell like the uh, angel that we are used to, but it's more on the sweet side. Maybe just a faint, faint hint of angel but it's a sweet perfume and then the other one that I just got yesterday is this one uh, credit goes to a nose nose Donna from a nose nose she is the one who recommended this perfume so she is absolutely fantastic I'm gonna link her channel in the notes um, she is a perfume connoisseur absolutely fabulous channel and lady Cabotine de Grey and the absolutely beautiful bottle and a really complex fragrance it smells like all kinds of flowers and just just absolutely gorgeous so glad to get it so glad to get it all right question number four what perfume would you wear at night time or a date night if I were to go to a date night with my husband this is one that I would choose something sweet something sweet uh, this particular one from bond number nine he seems to really like a lot it just 
it literally smells like candy so sweet but like a refined sweet not icky sweet question number five is what's your favorite spring slash summer perfume i really like this one actually this this one is the versace bright crystal and it's very very nice in springtime if you uh, like peony and you want to get something that you could wear in the spring of course uh, this fragrance is gonna smell and feel different on me than, than on you maybe but this one has peony as a top note and i could totally smell that in it um another one that's really really cool that is a white floral it's this one this is j'adore by dior and it's a beautiful beautiful uh, spring fragrance spring into summer but yeah it's sweet it's got pear on top no so and just mixed with vanilla it's really really creamy deliciousness perfect for springtime now for summertime um i really have been enjoying something more beachy ah oh, this one that jennifer anister Aniston created it's really beautiful for summertime it has that same vibe as like the oh if you like the beach I love the beach I happen to live near the beach I adore her fragrance I really do question number six what's your favorite fall and winter perfume this one has been discontinued but my goodness this is beautiful in the winter time in the fall it's just got the most sophisticated balanced amber with i don't remember all of the notes but it's just this one is really beautiful my cap broke i've had it for a while this one is amazing in the winter this one is very this is um i think you can still get this one on ebay or or, or amazon it's a calvin klein one shock it is the most beautiful warm vanilla with blackberry scent ever and somehow so it's sweet so somehow it really is a nice in the cold weather question number seven what is your favorite scent category fruity floral fresh oriental woody oriental for sure amber patchouli base uh, sweet oriental are amazing but definitely oriental question number eight what perfumes are you currently lusting after well there's a few because <laughs> i don't have enough but there's a few i um i really want to get the um yes i am uh, because i love perfume and i love makeup and that needs to happen <laughs> i have a list you know <laughs> What I have right now is I want the uh, the Yes I Am by Cacharel. Um Yes I Am Pink. I want them both because yeah. And uh, oddly enough, I have Hypnotic Poison, but I don't have Poison Girl Eau de Parfum, and I would really would like to have that. And there's one that is mega expensive, but I really, if I could, I would really like to have it. And it's from House of Sillage, and it. This perfume looks unbelievably beautiful and it's just more than a perfume it's almost like a center it would be like a centerpiece and <clears throat> lisa duncan lisa lisa d1 was talking about it she received it from them and ever since i saw her i immediately went to the website uh, signed up for the subscription and i'm definitely they have discounts once in a while and i'm definitely going to keep my eye on that one because it's absolutely beautiful i don't remember the name but i'll put it on the screen it's it's really it's something else it's definitely a collector item and it's on my wish list moving on what fragrance cologne do you like on your significant other the one that i love is the one by this one by versace uh Eau de parfum doesn't have a, a i think the name is just versace that's it but this is it this is it every time he wears it i really really like it it's very fresh very clean it has that kind of ice ice fresh kind of uh tent nice perfume i love when he wears this one thanks so much for watching guys don't forget to give the video a thumbs up subscribe 
and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!